My name is Rick Pearson. I'm a film editor on Iron Man 2. My name is Dan Leventhal. I'm a motion picture editor, and currently I'm working on Iron Man 2. I find uh, being an editor is uh, being a pure filmmaker. A film the size of Iron Man 2, there are thousands of people working on it as we speak, just doing effects. There is an army of sound people getting the most minute sounds. Sometimes I take that for granted sitting here because I don't have to worry about all the things it takes to get this footage. I just sit here and I look at these images and sounds and, and pictures and say, okay, let's make a story. On that level, I, I feel like uh, it's the best job in film. What I love about my job is that it's creative and combines things in a way that I never actually thought I could do in a single career. I love music, and so there's a musical aspect to what I do. I, in these types of films, I love playing with the sandbox of visual effects and helping to create shots, working in a totally imaginative environment where we can, we can kind of say, well, wouldn't it be cool if that guy flew from there to there? And what if he had a laser cannon? That'd be kind of cool. And so there's, there's, a, there's a whole world of imagination that, that uh, not everybody gets to participate in in other aspects of, of filmmaking. And, um, I just think it's a cool job. <laughs> What's very interesting about the job is that it's a constantly evolving job. You work with the director, then you work with the sound people. So there's different parts. What I'm doing six months ago isn't the same thing I'm doing today on the job. The big thing with the movie is getting it organized, and it's constantly evolving inside the editing system. The editing room is, in a way, the center of that, because this is where the actual storytelling is being done. And even the directors will tell you that when they're shooting, they're shooting with the mind that they're gonna be sitting back here and trying to get the nuts and bolts that, that are in there that make it work within the storytelling that we're trying to do. When a movie's done, if you've been the editor or you've been a, a craftsman, you know it by its minutia. You actually use an audience to feel it. So you go in with the final finished movie that you've been working so hard and you put it in front of people and uh, then it's like, wow, they're just taking this in. They're just taking in story. They don't see the cuts. They don't see all the little things that go in. I went and snuck into a real audience and the energy was amazing. It, it really did give me chills. And that, that's, that's really exciting. The most enjoyable part of my job is probably at the very, very end when it's all is said and done and I get to go to the multiplex on Friday night when the movie's open and, and sit back somewhere hidden in the theater and either hear people laugh or can tell that they're gripped by whatever it is that we've worked on because that's, the, that's really what we're doing. We're making movies and so it's a pleasure to actually see them do what they're supposed to do and tell their stories. For Iron Man 2, I have 10 Avid Media composers hooked up to an Avid Unity storage system. That means while we speak, we can have 10 people working on the same material, doing what they need to do. Assistants have their tasks. We have uh, VFX editors doing that. Myself and, and uh, Richard Pearson are in here cutting the movie. You can't do this any, with any other thing, th this level of collaboration. You know, as far as a, uh, working on a picture with multiple editors, I've done a few of them now, and I find that that kind of a collaboration is key because, you know, working with a media composer, we're able to very quickly share ideas, and so with the schedule that they have and the amount of work there is to do, it's kind of the only way to do it. These tools allow us to really, you know, get past the, the, uh, the drudgery of the process and just let it flow. One of the tools that I've started using much more in the last few films is the script sync and it's really useful, especially in a director's cut or as we continue cutting to be able to go back and quickly find here are the 36 cameras that are pertinent to this particular line. Motion pictures are a collaborative art form and that's the nature of what we do. Media Composer is the best product for editing and collaboration. You know, if you're a young editor and uh, you wanna have an edge, you should know all of this. You should know all this technology. You should know what's new in Media Composer. There are new features coming out every few months. If you know these things, you have an edge, you have a niche that, that you can exploit. Certainly at this point, Avid is being wonderful to people at my level doing the big features and listening to what we want and, and helping to, to develop new features for the next generation. And, we in the feature community uh, really appreciate that.